All right, so this is the Power Glove Project. You can see I'm already wearing the suit, but uh, just to give you a quick overview of the glove, it used to have ultrasonics, right? So uh, Power Gloves had these two bricks you'd put on either side of your TV, and it actually uses ultrasonics to kind of calculate in 3D space uh, where it was, was actually located. It's actually a really clever design, and they came up with it like in a super short time span, so it's pretty amazing. Uh, having said that, it, it never properly worked from what I understand. I was ever uh, never uh, one of those rich kids that could afford one, nor did any of my friends, but uh, it's neither here nor there. Uh, so I've replaced those ultrasonics with a couple of uh, 10 millimeter uh, ultra bright whites. I think they're like 30,000, uh, but um, right now I've got them uh, pulse width modulated way down, and then plus they're sharing a single uh, uh, digital pin off these guys. I think they can only sync like 30 or 40. Uh, milliamps, something like that, so it's not a lot. Um, this thing um, was actually gutted, so I've opened up the uh, the palm top here, and uh, yeah, cut off the majority of the circuit board, I'm sorry to say. Um, uh, and it was interesting because in there you could tell they were all hand soldered back in the day. Um, so that guy was gutted, and I tied in the pins directly. So there's actually bin sensors inside of here, and uh, you can still uh, by what's touted as the exact same bin sensors from another company, but there's bin sensors in thumb, index, middle, and ring, nothing in the pinky. Uh, so you actually only get four readings, um, which is fine. You can still work around that pretty good. So um, there's two wires coming out the top. Used to have the old uh, uh, Nintendo style cable. So right now there's a, a cable that I've added for programming, and those actually tuck right under here, right inside this little cuff, uh, since, they're, uh, since they're not in use at the time. Uh, and then it's got the actual hookup. So this gives the power and ground uh, for the microcontroller. So inside of this, uh, inside of the, uh, the, the arm right here, there used to be a lot of additional circuitry. Again, much of it I've cut out, so actually none of these butts at the top are actually activated. Unfortunately, I had to make room for uh, the, uh, the little microcontroller that's hidden in there. I think it's an Arduino. Uh, Mini Pro. So this is FTDI cable that's plugged in here. A great thing about FTDI is when you're using the um, the five volt like Spark Fun, it makes it. Uh, I think it makes a pin go low or something like that, and it puts it into program mode, so you don't actually have to push the button and worry about that. So right now, the only thing it's hooked up is the D-pad and these guys four cross. So you can still do the Konami code if you need to. Um, additionally, this is how you quick connect the suit together. And I'm doing this one-handed. Uh, Cause my wife's over there. There you go. <laughs> there she goes. Actually, got it upside down. Let me spin that. Plug them together. <laughs> Look with your eyes, not with the camera. <laughs> there you go. All right, push. All right, snap together. And then I'll uh, tighten the wrist piece here. So that's how the suit actually ties together to the lights. So after we've done that, uh, we've got our technically hooked into the suit as you can see it kind of goes up the legs comes up the middle splits and then loops around it's just a bunch of elastic uh, that's just knotted around uh, again I like the elastic because it's you know flexible moves with your body plus you can readjust at any point in time uh, all the wiring done that's just connecting these two bottom pieces together is done with uh, braided cat five I got the power cables here looped around my neck just so I can hold them temporarily so in here we've got a, a capacitor I can't remember the specs on it off the top of my head then I got it heat shrink tube together to keep it nice and sealed up again these water or these lights are uh, waterproof uh, so individually addressable um, you can get these from uh, Adafruit or spark fun either way Adafruit I think was out at the time so I picked mine up from spark fun but they look similar in fashion these are actually I'm gonna clip the end of these wires off. These aren't necessary anymore. But that's how you can tie multiples of these together. Anyway, uh, at the bottom where I had to cut and solder together, they're uh, double epoxied, so they're still waterproof. Uh, good close up of my hairy legs there. <laughs> but anyway, so I got uh, the power leads. I'm using USB uh, cords because the microcontroller is 5 volt. These uh, actually run off of 5 volt. Interesting enough, when these guys are pumped up to full power, they do about two and a half amps at five volts, so I mean they are power hungry. So uh, for the demo, I've got this little um, like external uh, power source you know, that you usually use to charge a phone or an iPad, or uh, in this case, the Go Puck is made for a GoPro. But I've also got like a, a big beefy one somewhere hidden around that I got specifically for this suit. So anyway, 
I got these cheapos from the dollar store, so it actually requires two of them really to give you uh, full power. So you can tell whenever you plug in just one, uh, it doesn't have enough power. Uh, the lights actually brighten up when you plug them both in. So the trick is you just plug them in and then the suit engages. So again, you can see that we've got the the ultra brights right there, the super brights, but they're they're powered down just so it really kind of illuminates them in the dark and there's not just big empty cavities. But then you can see the rest of the suit actually functioning and uh, you'll see in the demo video. So the great thing about the link, the extra length we have on this cord is you can put it in any pocket. The idea is you can just store the power source in the pocket. And so part of the the modes is uh, throwing this guy together really fast for uh, a show that's coming up uh, tomorrow actually. So uh, I don't have as many uh, like different uh, sketches in there or programs, you know, do different patterns and sequences and stuff like that. Uh, so I've got um, in my head and I've got a little bit of programming in there so that I can switch modes, you know, just back and forth and then do variations within those modes. But for now, since I've only got four kind of really sequences, I just mapped each one to a specific button. So you just kind of hold the button and then one, uh, the right just turns them all off, except for these. These keep trucking. So um, uh, next you'll see probably a cut of the suit in action and the different modes going. Faster than a midnight train Somewhere there's such a place Where the stars come out to light your face And we'll leave behind the world in darkness Go when no one's broken hearted Take off without a trace Neon angels up, up and away Supersonic love, but I'm a I think we're getting. 